I'm Eric Barbanel. I'm an internist. Uh, I've been involved with value-based care uh, in our practice for for the last several years. Uh, just to briefly give you a little rundown of why we do what we're doing, uh, we have a lot of value-based care contracts, risk-based uh, con contracts. We have our own healthcare and insurance company, uh, and we've been involved with this type of stuff uh, for a while now. Uh, and I was challenged at one point uh, by essentially having been a little bit more on, on one side of the curve than the other. Uh, and I decided at that point that, you know, to try to be much more aggressive uh, with the value-based uh, way of doing things. And uh, I got turned on to choosing wisely uh, because it kind of seemed that that was one of the few ways or few examples of things that would actually were ex examples of things to do or not to do, uh, it, you know, toward getting into that goal. Uh, so we soon then had a, a, an innovation contest in the practice, and I had a, pro a program where uh, we incorporated choosing wisely uh, in to see if we could make some some headway. Um, and one of the things that we did was with with uh, using imaging for lower back pain, and we uh, incorporated it into our EMR. We put up some posters. We put up we gave out um, a book a booklet um, that was handed out to patients, and uh, we did this in one of our internal medicine. Uh, uh, suites uh, in kind of as a pilot program. Uh, and you can see some examples on the next slide. Uh, so this, this was actually for a different measure, but it's very similar. This is what would show up in the EMR uh, if you typed in a diagnosis of back pain. Um, a little pop-up would come up and say, are you ordering imaging? Yes, no. Uh, if you said no, it would just move along. Uh, if you said yes, it would say X-ray or MRI. It would say, are there red flags? Uh, and or if the patient had had symptoms for for greater than than a month or six weeks, and it was really just meant to have the physician or or provider kind of put their own nickel down for their own their own way of doing things. Uh, we were collecting data on this, um, but we were really looking more at end com at end. Uh, outcomes. Uh, so actually, this is the image, the one for, for back pain. Uh, and, you know, it was really just looking at your, your own way of ordering things. And, you know, if the patient didn't have red flags, why are you ordering an MRI uh, type of deal? So you just have to kind of say it to yourself. Um, you can go to the next slide. Uh, so this was just a little booklet that we handed out. Uh, and I had a little blurb for me on the front. And then uh, a bunch of of the two pagers from from uh, the Choosing Wisely campaign, uh, and here they're up on the wall, um, so that way patients could see and and we could reference this even if it wasn't talking about the specific thing that was on the wall. It was a way of getting some third party validation for for value based care, uh, being able to to point to the academics of the ABIM. Uh, or you know the consumer friendliness of uh, consumer reports. Um, so I, I found that to be quite helpful. Uh, so when we took some data points along the lines uh, for our innovation contest, um, you could see that uh, you know it, it went down. This was before we started talking about value in general, uh, and then after talking about value and then instituting the program, uh, and you could see that they we had improvement. Uh, 